In this video I'll be showing you how to install The Sims 4 for free on your Windows computer. But before we get started if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do enjoy this video then click on that subscribe button if you want to see more computer sluggish videos. So the first thing that you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. We now need to click on the download the EA app button. Once that's finished downloading go ahead and run the setup file that's downloaded. You can now select customize setup. And you can then choose where you'd like to install the EA app. So I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive. And you can then choose if you want to create a desktop shortcut. I'm actually going to create one. Once you're happy with the options you selected, go ahead and click on Let's Go. The EA app will now begin to download and install to your computer. Alrighty, you should now have a window that looks like this. If you don't or nothing's popped up, then just double click on the EA shortcut on your desktop. Or if you didn't create a shortcut, then just open up the start menu and then search for the EA app. So we now have a few different options to choose from. So if you don't have an EA account, then you can always sign in using Google, Facebook, Apple, Steam, or the Xbox, or your PlayStation account. If you don't want to use any of those options, then you can click on the create account at the bottom. It's completely free to create an EA account. So once you have created one, then just put in your email address and your password and you then need to click on sign in. So I'm now going to go ahead and sign into my EA account. Okay, so once you have signed into the EA app, you now need to select home at the top here and you will then see search games. You need to click into this box and you then need to type in The Sims and then 4 and then press enter. You will now see The Sims 4. You need to select this option. You will now see the option to download. You need to click on the download button. You will now end up with a window that looks like this. So if there are any add-ons available, then you will see them here with a tick and you can click on the drop down and select which ones you'd like to add. So once you have selected the add-ons, if you do have any available for yourself, we then need to choose where you'd like to install The Sims. So as you can see, it's currently got my C drive selected, which I'm absolutely fine for The Sims 4 to be installed on my C drive. Next, you can choose your language and if you'd like to create a desktop shortcut. Once you're happy with the options you selected, go ahead and press next. You then need to click on download. The Sims 4 will now begin to download to your computer. So once it has finished downloading and installing, you will then be able to launch the game from the EA app. So to launch the game once it's finished downloading, you will then see it under here where it says install games and it will have a play button. So that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.